is expensive. And that's no secret. A typical seven day Alaska vacation costs an average of $3,000 per person. And if you're new, we're Victoria and Craig, full-time RVers who drove our RV up the Alcan to spend three months exploring the last frontier. And we surely can't afford to spend $6,000 every seven days that we're here. But we're also on a mission to get the full Alaska experience. Peaceful camping, exciting wildlife, epic views, and endless adventures. So we've been crunching the numbers and asking ourselves this one question. Can you RV Alaska for cheap? Stick around because we're testing that out and we've uncovered some secrets you might be interested in. So it has been seven whole days that we've been living at this roadside pullout on Exit Glacier Road in Seward, but the time has come to move on. Nobody even tried to kick us out this whole time. And we found out that camping on this road is allowed for up to eight days. So we're good. The only mis real mistake we made here was we forgot to put our stuff up before it rained and now everything is soaking wet. What? Going to the dump. Station. <laughs> so we're also gonna fill up our water. Um, we've been boondocking for just over a week now and we are completely out of water in the RV. So a good tip for you, if this is you in a situation like this, turn your water pump off unless you're using what little bit of drops you got left in your tank because your water pump can continue to run the way they work is they run until it has pressure on them but if there's no water to create the pressure then it'll continue to run and you could run the risk of burning up your pump so we keep ours off unless we like this morning we cut it on real quick to brush our teeth and then shut the pump back off so <laughs> All right, we got everything done. Roll Maverick's window up. And I do want to throw these gloves away. Where were the doctors? Right over there. I think we've gotten pretty used to the Alaska roads now. They're pretty much all the same. Not great, not the worst. Watch out for loose gravel and dips ah, and divots in the road. I think some sections are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. There's been some pretty bad sections every now and again but uh kind of used to it now right yeah it's not too bad this this little stretch ain't been bad at all going from uh where we're just boondocking in uh seward but it could could just at any moment get 10 times worse because it likes to do that that's true <laughs> oh gosh oh man this feels like baja yeah <laughs> skinny roads so we're actually splitting up from Kaylin and Joseph for just a little while. They're heading on to Homer, but we're on a mission. I want to see wildlife and I want a good campsite and I don't want to pay an arm and a leg for it. So as you guys know, that it has not been going perfect on finding good campsites. Boondocking is not as easy in Alaska as I'd anticipated for good sites. There's plenty of just roadside pull-offs, but we don't want to just roadside pull-off. We want a good spot but we think we've found an area on the Kenai Peninsula. I found a road, Skelak Road. I'm sure I just said that wrong, but the wildlife viewing is supposed to be good and there are several campgrounds. So we've got an initial option, some backup options. Some of them are free, some of them are just low cost. And I am hoping that we can finally get like a real Alaskan campsite on the water. I don't know, we'll see. So our goal this week is to try and do Alaska, but do it cheap. Uh, everything here is so expensive. So the goal is to be cheap. Granted, you're not getting to Alaska for cheap. It's gonna cost you a lot on fuel. But once you get here, is it possible even to not spend your life savings on activities and still have a good time? We're about to find out. 
Coming up on our turn for Skalak Lake, and I have warned Craig that it's not paved, so there should be no complaining, right? I'm still complying. Half a mile. Turn left on Skalak Lake Road. Skalak Lake? I don't know who's right. Me, the GPS. You guys, let me know in the comments. Paved so far. Wait, what is this? Uh, why did everybody stop? No road maintenance after November 1st. Let's see it immediately goes to gravel. Why is everybody pulled over right there? Uh, there might be a trail or something like that. Terrible. Okay, we've made it to our road. A road to our road to our road. Yeah, I guess we're about to find out if there's a spot for us. It's first come, first serve, so. Uh, no. Oh, no. Well, we can't well, do that. I mean, go down here. We might be able to just, there might be a spot somewhere right that we can get to and back in and then come out, but we are not making it all the way around the loop. So we just saw the end of the loop. It's a little loop. Definitely can't make it all the way around the loop because there was low hanging trees. We're going to see if there's any spots at the beginning of the loop we can pull into. So we're gonna go look at this spot that I'm pretty sure we can't fit in. So these spots are sloped this way and we saw the end of this road and it did not look like we could get in there without brushing all the branches. But if we park in here, we're definitely gonna have to go that way to get out. And I don't think we'll be able to get level here. Also, where are we parking the truck? Yeah, it's a, it's a bit, pretty major slope there that way. There are some spots that would work for our rig here, but uh, other rigs of similar size to ours are already there. If we had a smaller rig though, plenty of spots we could be staying in. Just saying. Yeah, our, Just uh, saying. our RV and I'll ask if for cheap, eh? <laughs> ain't looking so cheap so far. <laughs> I don't know, we still have another campground that we can check out that's only $10 a night. And on Google Maps, it looked like there was bigger spots. All right, plan B, keep our fingers crossed. Found some spots, it's vacant. I don't know that we can fit there. There's a spot. It's got some in it. In 400 feet, continue straight. Okay. Thank you. Good over here. We're gonna try for this spot here. It's not the longest, but I think we can make it work. Can you see the passenger side good? Yeah. Okay. You're good to keep coming on back. Got about five feet. A little more. All right, stop. All right, I think that's gonna work. The challenge will be seeing if we can get a good Starlink service or not, but um, we're in the site and we fit, so that's the first challenge achieved. So our site is a first come, first serve type spot, which seems like Alaska has a, a bunch of these types of campgrounds where you just get here. Hopefully there's a spot open and you pick your spot and then it's your spot. But then you gotta go pay, so we're about to walk up to the little pay station, I don't know what to call it, but and pay for our site. You guys stay here. Site ended up being a little bit more spacious than I thought it was. We got the truck all the way off the road. Yeah, and we got a big picnic table and a fire pit behind the RV yeah. that's like part of our site. Pretty cool, and it's paved. I actually See? did not expect. That one would have been paved. nice. Oh. And it's more rope and we'd have had better Starlink what we could have had if we kept going. We got nervous. We wouldn't have been able to park, I don't think, though. That's true, okay. We did good, high five. There's dumpsters. Yeah, that's nice. There is uh, there is outhouses, too. Yeah, pit toilets. Pit toilets. On the 8th, what is today? The 10th. So, cause a couple of days ago, somebody saw a bear in the camp. Well, we better get to, I'm gonna put some food out tonight. No, you're not. So I had seen a picture of this sign and it said that campsites were $10 and walk-in sites were $5, but clearly, you know, inflation. 
So now it's there's a uh, tonight. There's also water, I think. Yeah. Water here. It's a water. I water think a here. manual pump. Interesting. So we got trash, water, pit, toilets, picnic area. Question mark? Mystery box? <laughs> what is it? Who knows? So this campground is part of the Kenai Wildlife Refuge area, which is why it's like an established campground. And they've done a really nice job here. I think all we have to do is fill out this little permit. Another good reason to carry cash in Alaska is because you might end up at one of these campgrounds where you need to pay for cash and put it in an envelope and drop it in a box. All right, now we've got to get back to the RV and got some work to finish up today. You know, the work just never stops. No. But we will be picking back up with you guys in just a few seconds to show you more around this campground and also hopefully go find some wildlife for free. Free and, wildlife. And rescue any baby raccoons that we might come across. I have not seen a single raccoon in Alaska well, since we got we here. Do they even have raccoons? I don't know. If, if maybe they're not supposed to, so it needs our rescue. Uh, that's true. So we'll be rescuing a baby raccoon very soon. Stay tuned. Okay, it's nighttime and we decided we were going to go out looking for wildlife because we figured early morning or late evening is going to be our best chances to see them. Just trying to see what we can see. You know, we're not on a tour. We don't know where to go. We're trying to do this for free. We're trying to see bears and things for free. Always saw were some moose. Two different moose in some fields. We drove all along the Ski Lock Lake Road. I didn't know where, we didn't know where all the bears were. And then we were a quarter mile from our campsite when a black bear just runs across the road right in front of us. Back up. There he is. Stop, stop, stop. Go forward. Jeez Louise. Gotta go forward. Do you see him? Do you see him? Do you see him? Look at him. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh. Hang on. I'm focus. Come on, focus on the bear. The bear, not the trees. There he is. Yes. And we got some really cool footage. We got to stop and just watch him munch on some things. I don't know what he was munching on. So of course, part of the cheap RVing thing we're doing is being able to see wildlife without spending a million dollars to do it. And I'd say this has been a somewhat of a success. I want to see more. It can't just be one bear and two moose and the moose are like hundreds of yards away. So maybe we get a closer view of the moose and I would like to see another bear with some cubs. That would be cool. I want to see a brown bear or a grizzly bear too. Oh, a grizzly bear. We did see a wolf one time. If we could see a wolf, that would be like the, the best. Another wolf? I want to do that. But I still can't believe it. We saw a bear and two moose out here at our $15 a night campground in Alaska. Our week is going good so far. Let's hope good. it continues. It's going good. I'm going to bed. <laughs> All right, y'all know we like to keep it real, show the good and the bad. And while we actually absolutely love this campsite and we're super excited to see wildlife last night, the uh, Starlink internet situation. No bueno, senor or senorita, whoever's watching. <laughs> it's just not good. The trees are just in the way. They're yeah. creating obstructions. It's dropping our internet every like 15 to 30 seconds. I can't even download music to add to the YouTube video for you guys. It'd be so boring without music. This is the first time we've experienced this in Alaska, but we are heading into town to find a coffee shop and get some work done. There is a positive here though, because we're headed to Saldatna and that is one of the places where I think we might be able to see the salmon swimming upstream. I have a couple of spots around town, so after we're done working, we might get to see the salmon. What you think about that? How come people say salmon and it has an L? I keep saying salmon no. and salmon. I just go back and forth between the two words, but I, I feel like it's spelled salmon. Salmon? I guess it's spelled that way, but does anybody else say salmon? I don't. I just say salmon. The salmon. Salmon. They're salmon? running. The salmon are running. I don't know. Salmon. The salmon are running. I feel like that's the proper way to say it. Yeah. yeah. Salmon are running. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
You think that cinnamon roll is big enough? It's not big crazy. enough. <laughs> that thing's huge. Like, look. <laughs> All right, we got some work done at the coffee shop. The coffee was actually, and the pastries were both pretty good. Did you like yours? Yeah. Craig couldn't finish a cinnamon roll. It was so huge. But uh, now we're going to see if we can find some salmon. I have this GPS location pinned as this creek where they're supposed to be able to see the salmon and they're supposed to be running right now in Soldatna. So we'll see what we can see. Boy, got ran out of the curb. Continue on Alaska one south for three quarters of a mile. Um, I think the salmon are supposed to be Your down there. The is on the right. In a creek somewhere. I don't, I don't see a creek. I didn't see a creek. <laughs> well, do you think there's a creek down there? Oh, no. There's a sidewalk we could try to park somewhere and walk on it. That was weird. There was like no creek. There's a creek on the thing right there. Oh, it's gone forever now. Oh, I don't show it. Right there. See, there's a creek. I don't know. Where do you park? Oh no! I think there's some a parking lot right up here. I see. We're kind of far now. <laughs> I just want to see the salmon. I just want to see the salmon for free. I just want to see the salmon for free. I don't even have to fish for them. I just want to see. Oh, we can park right there in this random paint and body shop. Would this be weird if we just park right over here and walk down? I don't know. I think we drive back by and see if there's a uh, creek for, for walking all the way back. Okay. Okay, try number two, pass by number two. Let's see if there's a creek. See, it says, uh, sick, silk, sick, it's a cock creek. Oh, there is a creek down there. Yeah, didn't see any I fish. Saw, I saw a creek. I don't know if I saw any fish though. <laughs> I didn't even almost any fish. Also, I don't know, you can't see. I did see, and the water looks stagnant. Mm, that was true. So we found parking with a trail to the creek. However, I don't think there's any fish. We're gonna hope for the best and try it out. And or, there's fish. Or we just gotta go search all of the creeks and rivers and streams in this area. Just all of them. All of them, till we find one. <laughs> Which way? I would have seen this one. Huh? Hmm. What have you gotten us into? I don't know. Why is there so many steps? Oh, man. <laughs> okay, first look at the creek. It's not good, guys. <laughs> They're all gone. No, they can't be. Where are they at? Either they're all gone or this fish doesn't actually exist. Salmon? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it says baby salmon live here, but I'm looking for them. What do the babies look like? Like this? Okay. We'll carefully look closely. Do we see any? Nothing. Bunch of mosquitoes. All right, we'll go find a new river or creek. <laughs> Back up the stairs. All right, back at the RV and a salmon was a bust today, but we're giving ourselves one more wildlife viewing opportunity by getting on the bikes and riding up to this viewpoint where we saw a moose the other day walking. It's evening time, maybe the animals will be out and we're hoping to be a little bit more stealthy with the bikes instead of the truck. Hopefully that won't mean we're too stealthy. And Sneak up on a bear or a moose. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so we're gonna bring the bear spray just in case. So these things have gotten extremely dusty through Alaska, uh, but dust ain't never hurt anything. A little bit of dust, just a little bit of dust. Thank you Electric E-Bikes for sponsoring this part of the video. And I hope you guys enjoy it.
You know, this is something I never would have guessed we'd be doing on a Friday night, riding our e-bikes in Alaska at like, I don't know, nine o'clock when it's still totally daylight out to see if we can, you know, just find a bear. A bear just ran across the road right there. <laughs> I couldn't get my phone out fast enough. It's right there in the what? What well, like a little, like, teen? Juvenile? Yeah, juvenile bear. <laughs> I literally, we just passed bear poop and I was like, bear poop. And then there was a bear. It ran away though, it was scared of us. So I don't think it's bear, bear, coming yeah. after us. Where is he at? Where is he at? Don't get close. Just like you guys know, we do got our bear spray, okay? <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. I don't see him. Where is I he think at? That's the same one we saw the other day. Probably so. Yeah. It's a little, uh, a little more nerve-wracking though on the electric bike. <laughs> yeah. Is that him right there? Is he still just waiting in the woods? Or did he totally I run away? So. I feel like you're a little close there. there. And I think our bikes are faster than a bear. I don't know. No, they can like run really fast. They only like 17 miles an hour. I thought something. it was like 30. Oh, maybe not there. I don't know. I could be wrong. Oh, man. Okay, hey, here's our overlook. Do you see anything yet? No. <laughs> but we did see a bear. Not very well, but we saw it. It was there, it counted. It was there, it counted, but we didn't get to show you guys, so it counts a little bit less. Oh, you didn't get it any? I did. Not that you can actually tell. It was technically in the camera, but it looked like probably just a blur. <laughs> <laughs> and now we spend a minute looking out here. Seeing if there's moving. anything moving. All right, I think that's all the wildlife we're gonna get for today, but uh, it's always a fun time on the e-bikes. That's kind of nice. Nice uh, little evening ride. What time is it, by the way? 10 o'clock, bedtime. 10 o'clock, and it My just bedtime. like is as light as can be. Leave it to Victoria well, to get you out here on some bicycles after bedtime. <laughs> bicycles after bedtime. That's what this segment's called. Morning, it's an early morning. You won't be able to tell it by how it looks outside because the sun fully rises by like 5 a.m. But this is basically our last effort here to go see some salmon. We're going on a hike to Russian River Falls and we've got our bear spray because we could also see bears. And I wanna see bears, but kind of far away, not like accidentally right on the trail, just in case we got our bear fray. You can do it. Close enough. <laughs> I don't think it's locked. Of course we can't leave without coffee, guys. I made it extra big today too. Didn't put it in a travel <laughs> mug though. Well, shoot. Dang, can't win them all. So when you look up where to see salmon on the Kenai Peninsula, the Russian River Falls definitely comes up as a top spot. So that's why we're here. We're hoping to be able to see them. Something we've learned is that you really have to time the salmon runs correctly because they happen at different times, right? Like, apparently we've just been going back and forth the opposite of what the salmon have been. <laughs> and we missed them every place. They, it's like, they run all summer, but kind of spread out every two week period. So if you're really wanting to catch the salmon, do your research beforehand. So the hike is about 2.3 miles one way, which means it's just under five miles round trip. And the mosquitoes are already out. So as soon as we stop walking, they just like swarm you. But hopefully we'll be able to stand still long enough to see some wildlife somewhere. We've passed one water crossing so far and it was not a good sign. We didn't see a single fish. We'll still have hope, guys. I do think we saw some bear poop or somebody didn't pick up after their dog. Does bear poop and dog poop look similar? 
I don't know. I don't know what that was from. But what way did we go right oh here? Oh gosh, there's a three way. Uh, I assume just staying on the main trail. We can go see if there's any fish down here by the water. That's true. Let's check it out. What does this little sign say? I don't know. Oh, properly disposed of human waste. Let's hope that's not the waste we saw. Solid down there. Nothing. Oh man. So we still have hope. Just a little less than before. <laughs> we read that they like to jump at the waterfall, so that's our only remaining hope that the waterfall is there and they're jumping at it. Well, we made it down to the viewing platforms. There is a really nice view of the falls and it looks like it would be the perfect spot to watch bear catch salmon in the river if there were any salmon or any bear. All we really have seen is a lonely seagull. We've been watching the water for a while, but no jumping salmon. There's one little spot where they go sport fishing off the one little trail. We're gonna go down and check, get closer to the water, see what we can see. But uh, I don't think we're having any luck finding salmon today. See any salmon? No. So can you RV Alaska and see wildlife and get the full experience for cheap? Kind of. I think so. Also, I do think if we would have spent more time in this area, it seems like we just, I feel like all the salmon are like on a weekly schedule <laughs> or bi-weekly maybe. It is kind of like every, so it's mid-July. There was a big run in the beginning of July and there's supposed to be a big run at the end of July and we hit it right in the middle. Yeah, so we only spent three nights in this area. Um, I think if we'd have spent a week to two weeks, we'd 100% probably saw salmon. 100% probably. 100% probably. <laughs> I think that's the key. It's gonna take a lot of patience and time and just going out and hiking and exploring and trying a lot of different locations. So if you've got patience and you've got time, you can do it for cheap. We did see though, we saw bears, we saw moose, eagles. Um, eagles. We oh. did see a fox, yeah. but it ducked into the trees Barely. before we could ever even get close to it. Like yeah. nowhere near it. So yeah. this Ski Lack Lake Road where we've been staying is pretty good um, for wildlife. So if you want to see a lot of wildlife, I would recommend that. But if you're short on time. It's also on a very nice lake. So true. you can go paddle boarding and stuff. Oh, and I've been meaning to talk about the Kenai River. We've mentioned it a few times, but it is the, probably the most beautiful river I've ever seen. So blue, turquoise blue, the whole thing, just gorgeous. Yeah. So yeah, you can, but with some caveats and nothing is guaranteed. I do feel like a lot of people even we just thought you'd get to Alaska and around every corner, there's a bear. Well, some <laughs> kind of wildlife. Some kind of wildlife. And it's just not really the case. There's still a lot of people up here and you still have to get out into the wild to really see it. Yeah, I think uh, more time would be the, the key. But if you're short on time and you've got money saved up, we have heard that the Brooks Falls bear viewing experience at Katmai National Park seems to be the best one around that you can do and seems to also be your best chances for actually getting to see bears up close and personal. 
but thank you guys for joining us this week as we attempt to do Alaska for cheap. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.